Hello and welcome to WIV 4 News. It's Wednesday, July 30th, Amanda Saint, and our top stories tonight. The Ministry of Education has some strict warnings and changes in policy to improve the performance of students studying abroad. These policies were outlined in a meeting with ministry officials yesterday evening. Joy Otrell has full details. And if we have to put the pressure on you to excel and to succeed, we're going to do it because we believe in you. And the pressure is definitely on for students studying on government scholarships abroad, along with now having to maintain a 3.0 grade point average up from a 2.0. Students will face policy changes in their subsistence funds, and strict restrictions will be enforced on the length of study. We will enforce that policy. There are students who are studying overseas who are getting 0.0. .0. So those of you who have not gotten 2.0, or above in the past for two consecutive terms, know that your scholarship is terminated. Honorable Mills also noted several other important changes to the scholarship policy. What we have decided to do now with the amendments of the new policy, direct students to what the country needs. We're going to train you based on the needs of the Turks and Caicos Islands as a growing country, as a developing country. And those needs include degree holders in the areas of teacher education, medical sciences, hospitality studies, building technology, engineering, finance, environmental studies, and agriculture. Instead of awarding students their subsistence funds in one lump sum, they will now receive their funds every two months. Ministry officials say this will cut down on the mismanagement of funds from some students. Ministry officials reminded students that it is their responsibility to provide their grades to the Ministry of Education, which is a requirement for receiving scholarship funds. They also made it clear that the ministry will be abiding strictly to these newly implemented policies. For WIV4 News, I'm Joy Del Trail.